Hey everyone, Leroy from Noisegate here with a trio of tips on Analog Lab V. Analog Lab V comes bundled with V Collection 9, which makes browsing the 14,000 presets much more streamlined. Simply open up Analog Lab V, click the home button, and then we can navigate via all the presets using the types or through the instruments themselves. In this scenario, I'm gonna click on keys. I'm just gonna display all of the presets that are using the key category, and then I can refine my search even further. So I can go styles, synthwave, show results. And then I can audition all of the presets that I might want to use for this particular project. Analog Lab V allows you to create a hybrid instruments combining multiple presets together. If I navigate to this playlist I've created here, I have a number of presets I've pre-found. If I click on this one, over here it displays the information on the instrument, also allowing me to add another instrument, so combining two on one. So I click here, so now I have two instruments layered together. If I hit edit preset, this displays the track mixer where I'm able to um, apply some effects uh, and adjust the levels of each individual instrument. So this is the first sound. And this is the second sound. And now together. So as you've seen in the last two videos, Analog Lab V has a bunch of useful tricks for navigating through the sounds, but it also allows you to be able to blend two sounds on top of one another. We can also allocate split zones across the keyboard. Let's take a look. I'm going to load this sound here, I'm going to add this sound here, so now I've got two. And down here we can use the um, zone selector to select the zone in which you want that to play. So this orange bar is for the first sound, which is the MS-20, and the green bar is for the key sound, which is the Juno. If I hit edit preset, I can then go ahead and make further adjustments to the sound, add more effects, and use the macro controls to play the sounds. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.